subscribe to gizmo times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon hey guys welcome to gizmo times this is chetan and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, one 4k tv from kodak that's the kodak x smart series tv that's coming with the 55 inch 4k resolution and this is that uh, model uh, quite a large tv obviously because of the 55 inch display this uh, company comes uh, brings 4k tvs in even lesser sizes that's 43 inch but this is the 55 inch one so firstly talking about the display of the tv it's a 55 inch model so it's coming with the 38 40 into 2160 pixels of resolution that's the 4k resolution best possible right now in india because you don't find any 8k displays in india 4k is what you get and 4k content can be played on this quite well and this comes based on android so the other thing is that it's open source you have quite a lot of support for the applications and there's a lot that you can do with the, uh, the after tv show that is given here and you can install applications that you want to use on them and this anyway pre-installed apps such as Netflix and also uh, you have the YouTube, Netflix, Hotstar and Facebook as well and there's a web browser as well. So you have all the possibilities with the uh, operating system that is given here. It's based on Android, the basic Android and you find everything that you want uh, along with the support for the basic cable support as well where you can insert your cable the operator's uh, connectivity and you can play the channels as well. So for the major specs, this comes with that 20 watt speaker output uh, which is again quite good with the quality. We have already tried and used the TV earlier as well with the Kodak TVs. It's always the case that uh, the uh, sound output is not just good, it's uh, good with the uh, output the way, not the levels of it but also with the quality of the output that the volume is and uh, along with that this has a standard 60 hertz refresh rate which is common with most of the TVs right now where you get a uh, blur free uh, good content uh, output and with that's with the 60 hertz of refresh rate and along with that there's three HDMI ports two USB ports there's also one RJ45 port and uh, the other basic options include the Wi-Fi connectivity and the Ethernet port as well so in case you don't want to connect it with the Wi-Fi you can directly connect the Ethernet port and give it the connectivity you want for all the internet based options. And for the internal specs, this TV comes with the Cortex A53 quad core processor and this 1GB of RAM 8GB storage, which is kind of okay. You don't really need heavy specs here since TVs are not needed for multitasking. They need to do what you uh, need to do that with a single application that is running on the front, and there's nothing that you need to see in the background. So 1GB of RAM 8GB storage is what the TV offers, and this is priced at 36,999. Right now on Flipkart and uh, this is the 4K 55 inch uh, resolution one, there's a 43 inch one but we would suggest usually this one because, because it's coming in a budget price you get a 4K 55 inch for a budget. There are some competitors to this uh, especially from uh, Xiaomi but I would say Kodak has done quite a good job because most of the users did complain about the patch wall that was on the Xiaomi uh, TVs but there's no patch wall here it's mostly the Android based OS so you don't have to be confused of what uh, the TV is offering uh, and what are the partnerships whether you need any paid uh, subscriptions on any of those uh, content uh, providers there's everything given directly so in case you want to use Netflix you know that you need a Netflix account and you need that subscription you just can do that and on Patchwall, there was that issue that sometimes you get something on trial and then you are asked to pay for that and that is when the users would get annoyed for that. And here there are direct options for switching between the channels and between the uh, Android Home itself. So in the box package what you get is firstly the TV unit, then you have the remote control, then the uh, set of batteries as well. Along with that you have a power cord, the cable tie and uh, the user manual and there's the wall mounting unit. So you have two options here. One is to place it on the flat surface on any table or if you have a TV unit with you, you can place it there. Otherwise, the company is offering you the wall mount option and there's that wall mounting bracket given there. Uh, so one thing is, again, compared to some of the high-end TVs from the other brands, here there is the wall bracket given inside the box itself. Sometimes the technicians would charge you more from the other brands and that happens usually in the offline market but here everything is included in the box itself. Uh, so this is that 55 inch uh, UHD TV that is now installed uh, after quite a lot of effort and these are the different options uh, that you see. This is uh, the basic Android and uh, under this you have the content options firstly with the different movies that are here and you also have the options for the uh, audio video 1, audio video 2 and uh, along with that you have the ATV as well and uh, these are the, again uh, other videos, these are music options sports section is separately given so you can uh, play sports, highlights, live TV in case you have subscriptions obviously there so these are the pre-installed applications, you have the YouTube, Gmail, Hotstar, uh, Facebook as well as browser there's support for Miracast as said earlier and there's Flipkart and Netflix as well so Netflix is pre-installed, you might have to uh, separately install the Amazon Prime video if you want to use that and you need, uh, you need to install uh, apps such as Z5, Wood in case you have subscriptions of them and uh, need to watch the content from those uh, service providers and under the settings let's 
go to the next option that's the settings so these are the basic tv settings again where you have the options for the network and uh, language and input time and date system settings and under the system settings you have allow installation installation of non android applications uh, non app store applications which is the basic android apps you can always go to any uh, apk providers download the apks of those applications in case you don't have that on the app store there is no play store here so it's app store app store so in case you don't find any application that you want to play you can download the apk of that and install that through the file manager here since it has the usb ports you can just uh, plug it with the pen drive and do it and to take it ahead with the connectivity we already said it has uh, wi-fi as, as well as ethernet support but there's also connect share option where you get the uh, support for connecting with the laptop with the usb so there is one thing where you can uh, mirror your laptop screen and connect it with that way there's also support for miracast with miracast you can connect your smartphone with the tv and that is wirelessly uh, happening so miracast is usually on most of the android phones now uh, some of the good android phones actually and you can directly connect that to the tv and there is proper screen mirroring option here so you don't really need that uh, chromecast or any external uh, uh, dongles or any external app, uh, accessories to buy separately because the screen mirroring is happening here perfectly so this was all about the kodak's uh, 55 usdx smart tv this is priced at 37000 rupees and uh, we surely have liked this uh, unit, uh, the colors also came out to be quite good, there's also options for uh, uh, changing the colors and uh, something that adapts automatically and uh, gives you proper colors within the same frame itself, so that is all uh, quite happening well here and uh, this was all about the Xmart 55 inch USB TV from Kodak, so if you do like this video, share and subscribe to this one for more, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.